Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I'm going to continue my Australian animal theme and I want to show you guys how to draw one of Australia's most famous animals and that is the platypus. So to begin with our platypus, we are going to start with the eye. Right here on my paper, I'm going to make a circle like this. Now I'm going to color in most of the circle and I'm just going to leave a little bit white at the top, just like a little bit of a reflection. Right above it I'm going to add a little curved line for an eyebrow. And then right underneath it I'm going to add a little curved line like this just to show that the eye is kind of sitting there in the head. Now. Right above the eye, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then down like this, almost kind of like a really stretched out squiggly S. And then I'm going to continue this line up here, go up, and then back down for the body. Now, right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve down like this towards the eye and then I'm going to curve it back around like this. Right here I'm going to make a little bump at the top and then starting here I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to curve up to here and then starting here I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down and then out and then I'm just going to curve this right around here and then it's going to come right back up to here for the little bill of the platypus. Right here I'm going to add an extra little kind of line just for some detail on there. And then right under here I'm going to make an extra little line just to show where the bottom of the bill is. Right here you want to draw a line that's just going to curve in for the bottom of the head. And then I'm going to add an extra little curve line right here. Now for the little flippers. So starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to curve up and then down for that first little foot. And then I'm going to make a line that's just going to go out and then it's going to come back for a toe. And then I'm going to put another one here. One right here and then one more right here. Now the platypus spends a lot of his time in the water, so they have webbed feet like a duck. So I'm just going to add these little curved lines in here, right between the toes. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line, it's just going to kind of curve up a little bit and then back down for the belly. And then I'm going to make another foot over here. So I'm going to do the same thing, a little sad face shape. I'm going to add a line that goes down and up, and I'm going to do this about four times. So make four little toes on here. And then I'm just going to make some little curved lines right between it. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve around like this for the tail. And then I'm just going to meet it right up here. Now, starting here, I'm going to add an extra little line for the head. And then I'm going to add an extra little line here, and I'll put one more right there by the tail. I'm going to make a little curved line around right here, leaving a little bit of space just to show where the legs are. And then I'm going to add another little curved line here with two little dots up here for their nose. Then I'm going to add a couple little lines all around here just to show where they kind of have some of these little like furry kind of feathery little texture on them. And I'm just going to add that right around the body of the platypus just in some different spots here right around the legs and everything. Put a few more on here, kind of put some along the body, 
just some quick little lines just to add a little bit of texture and detail on there. And that'll just make it look a little bit more interesting. And there you go. There is your drawing of a platypus. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.